everybody, welcome to part 5 of Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. So, for some reason, the progress from flying to this planet didn't save, so we're buying the pulse rifle. To zoom in with the pulse rifle, hold L1 and then press R1. To zoom yeah, I get it. Hold okay, we know that from the last episode. So, for this level, we actually have to destroy literally everything that can be destroyed here. Now this is actually recommended to come back when you have the wrench upgrade. You know, the one that actually, when you smash the ground, it destroys everything. So, uh, can you... Oh, god damn it. The fact that it literally is in the way is kind of annoying. Uh, okay, so anyway, Heavy Lancer. I, I'm not sure if we can destroy that. Oh, it can be destroyed too, god darn it. It's gonna have to look up for things like that. So we actually have two missions. Find Clank, and then I believe the other one is actually the Grind Boots. I believe. So yeah, I know this might not be the most eventful episode, especially due to the fact that we gotta do stuff like that. Yay! Dispatching! Um, anyways, let's use the chopper. Still a very slow leveling of weapon. There are going to be some skill points, though, that we're not going to be able to get right away. And when I mean some, I mean there's actually quite a darn few. A lot of them will have to come back when we're upgraded. Okay, looks like we got some more of these floaty bots. Floaty bots, floaty bots, oh, floaty, 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 floaty bots. You know what, destroy them first. Might as well destroy those things before we actually go and, you know, dispatch the robots. Oh, we got the big bot this time. Still jokes. And more destroyable boxes. I don't know if the boxes actually technically count, but does this TV break? Okay, no. Smashing your wrench into a TV does not break it. Who would have thunk it? That's definitely a thing of your dreams, right? Being able to destroy a TV with a tool? Ooh. Hey there, little buddy. Eh. So yeah, the item... Oh, are there? These lights are breakable as well. God darn it! I was not anticipating that. So now we gotta go back and make sure we didn't miss any lights. Yeah, I don't think we really missed too much. Uh, we'll just just get rid of everything around here first. That way we clear everything out. Hey, buddy. Ah, you guys actually gave some pretty darn decent experience. So, might as well, uh, buy some ammo, and continue on. So yeah, that's why the, uh, I forget what they call it, the bolt grabber? Yeah, the bolt grabber. That's why the bolt grabber is a very good item. Can it hit all the way from here? Oh, this thing has nice, uh, nice range. Like, holy cow. There's also some things over there that we can't get yet. Also, there... Oh, damn it. There is one more skill point here that we can get, but it's in the other pathway, I believe. There's, like, one planet that has, like, five or six skill points, and I'm like, holy cow, you really want us to do a lot there, but not on some other planets. There are literally some places, I believe, that don't even have skill points. Or, like, huge plants that literally have one. As you guys can guess, most of the time it's going to be arena planets that are going to have, like, the most. Oh, hey, big boy. Oh, double big boys. Hey, that one died if the other one didn't. Ah, whatever. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can destroy these, but we'll try. No, if we just want to make sure we destroy everything. Oh, hey there, buddy. Wait, isn't that, like, literally Mr. Thugs for less boss dude? Oh. For that as well. And we got another screen. Okay, so we can destroy those with, you know, with blades, but we can't destroy TVs with wrenches. Eh, what a weird world Ratchet lives in. But then again, this isn't even his galaxy, so this galaxy could be a lot weirder. Man, I should just farm on those guys. These guys are good experience. I don't know about, not really best player experience, but definitely good for the chopper. Whoa, that was some weird aiming there. 
literally just like stopped. Okay, that's the way we have to go down. So looks like some enemies will get dispatched from here. Wait a minute. Is that a... Ooh, a bolt. Don't mind if I diddly do. I'm always up for getting some more bolts. Also, oh yeah, th this game is like always remember that you know you can just you have to destroy the stuff by the bolt. That's where it is. So I'm assuming when they say that there's only one bolt here. Oh, man, we got a little floaty UFO guy. Oh, I missed another one over here. I get too distracted by the fact that there's like enemies around that I don't actually deal with these guys. Can you like die already? Oh, another one. And remember, there's no weapon vendor close to here, so just be cautious about that. I really do feel like every Ratchet and Clank game after the original is better. But that's just me. Okay, this looks like a fun little area. I mean fun, I mean you gotta deal with enemies. Okay, you know what guys, you guys are just mean. Can you... Jeez Louise. My weapon is like... The fact that you can't jump with it is what gets me. Not the fact that the enemies are strong. Just the chopper can't be used like that. This clearly looks like it should open up, but it doesn't, so... Anyways, let's go on. Uh, I don't think those are... Wait, what? What what broke up there? Oh. Okay, weird. I don't know what parts were breaking, but... Whatever, we got them. <laughs> as long as we get them and don't miss out. Uh, looks like we need the grind boots for this area. Definitely gonna pick up all these. Also, we got some more of these floaty platform like creature dudes. I don't even know what they are. Security bots, maybe? There's nothing for destroying the vehicles around here, though, which is surprisingly funny. And yeah, you literally use the grind boots and the swing shot from the first game. Which I thought was really cool that you actually reuse something. Every other game, you always have to get it again. Fire! There we go. Dead. No, we're not dead meat like we were in the old, in Future Tools of Destruction. God, that was just... Quark is always a dick. And we know that from playing, like, literally all these other games. I will play the original one eventually. It's just, honestly... No one likes it as much as the others. Oh, hang on. Eh. Don't want to let him get away. And I swear I had seen... Fire! Oh, so it's just literally the Lancer that has a hard time hitting things from far away. Alright, so I think we're good for right now. So let's continue on. We can backtrack, though, if we do miss stuff. Oh, well, this definitely looks like a very intriguing area. Just destroy all of that. Probably something up here, right? No, I don't think so. Alright. Wait, you're supposed to hit the garbage can. Oh, okay, so... My disc blades here are not working out the way I want them to. Oh. Hey, enemies! Wow, that's, uh, that worked out nicely. Alright, hey there. Okay, blitz gun! You know, since when all else fails, just call it the blitz gun. And it mainly gives us our blitz gun ammo back. Like, Seriously, game. What is your need to do that? Uh, maximum nanotech is actually 80 in this game. That's another skill point. Can I break the windows? Okay, no. This this room is indestructible. That's good to know. And oh, what is this? Checkpoint with a lot of ammo. I'm not complaining about picking myself up some ammo, but. Hmm. 
morons, morons. Since my employees did such a lousy job of taking care of you, I thought I'd come and handle things myself. This is gonna hurt you a lot. Use? It's literally just me, dude. Wait, he's got some weird electric attacks, so just try to avoid them. Oh, there we go. That did some nice damage. Alright. And there we go. He's destroyed. That was really easy. That was a really easy boss fight. And our chopper's almost upgraded completely. There we go. Pick up some ammo again. Also, look around everywhere for things. I don't... Ooh, that's a pretty moon up there. Or another planet, not sure. Like I said, I don't think there's anything left here. So let's go to the translocator. So this literally just teleports us to our apartment. Okay. How do we get here to begin with? Hey, look, a poster of Jack and Daxter and... Hey! Some weird my thing. Old swing shot and grind boots. Try customizing your quick select in the pause menu. Do I need to yet? I don't think so. I literally just ran out of room now, but... Is there anything in here I can destroy? I don't think anything in here is just... Oh, never mind, that is. Worth a lot of bolts. Holy cow. It's worth like a thousand on its own. I really don't think there's anything else in here, though. Swing shot target detected. Press and hold circle to shoot the swing shot. Use L1 for better aiming. Okay. Oh, you gotta hold it. Okay, sweet. Just gotta look, make sure we don't miss anything. Okay, there's another teleporter over there. Oh, this one's kind of interesting. You gotta pull it down. I always thought that was kind of cool. So anyways, let's go to the translocator again. And here we go. We're back here. So, time to go the other direction. And what is... What is that over there? Uh, hey, can you literally hear this going off? Electrolyzer, go! And I, I really honestly don't mind this gadget. This is one of those gadgets that's actually kind of not bad. My eyes are a little sore though from the weather, so I apologize. Or apologies, pardon me, if, you know, things don't turn out the way I want them to. Eh, this doesn't really look like a good spot to use the chopper. Oh, that. Dude, just die. There is another skill point here, though. Okay, and these guys I can use the chopper on. There we go. Some nice ricochet effects. Kill them off. Uh, hopefully get a f Oh, there's only three. He's gotta be destroyable, right? No? Wait a minute. That's definitely gonna break. Nope. Okay, so this place looks like it's not too bad when it comes to breaking things. Looks like most of it's just outside. Okay, now this is the area where you can get another skill point. This one, on the other hand, we can actually get fairly easily. Uh, the first one's there. And then that one, that one, that one. A lot of the time, they're really close to touching, so you got to be really careful. Now, you can activate the crane. Now, what to get the skill point, what you have to do is you have to drop this box on all the enemies. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be annoying because these guys are really really awkward with their movement. I believe in the original game, you could actually glitch them into attacking you. So they'd be like attacking the the ladder instead of running away. There we go, that one broke. Die, little robots. If I could get two for one, that would be great. Eh, still getting one though is still good. Good, he got trapped. And Perfect. Now what you have to do is you just have to go and put this over here. So Ratchet thing can get up, obviously. I have a lot more damage than I thought. Okay. 
Let's see here. There's also a secret in one of them. There might actually be two bolts. Okay, for these guys, let's use the chopper. That guy died really fast, apparently. Wait a minute, there's a big robot over there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see a big robot. Wait, are those ones destroyable? Okay, no, the lights are. Not them themselves, but the lights. Which I'm assuming... Yeah, there's some right here. Okay, they're once again very finicky, like those things back in... Back in, um... Megacorp work. Okay, and he is an enemy, apparently. Oops, that one failed. Boom! Oh, didn't level up. That was kind of like... Whoa, hang on a second. I wonder if those are like police bots or something. I'm not really entirely sure what they're supposed to be. Once again, there's all that stuff over there in the middle that we can't get yet. Also, I've noticed. Where there's no cleaning robots, there's none of those, like, flying platform guys. Or, like, those really round guys. I just want to get them all done. Can I hit that one from here? Perfect. We're gonna hit those from here, too. Oh, that shot was beautiful. Nice! Those are some serious skills right there. Alright, take down the little guys. And there we go, it leveled up. To the multi-star. Screw off. I ended up taking damage to the little guy. Okay, with that we can now use the blitz gun primarily. Well he just died. With this, at least we can, you know, somewhat destroy things easily. Don't fall down the cliff or anything silly like that. Okay, that one's already destroyed. Perfect. Excellent. Those can't be destroyed. I don't think anything here can be destroyed. So, let's just go and blow some more, or crush some more robots by doing this little mini game. I feel like this one is actually easier. Oh god, that one is actually hard at the ending there. That's what she said. Eh. Now, I believe... I believe what we want to do... Yes, you want to do that. Oh yeah. Once the bomb drops it, you know, you can't literally do anything about it. Oh. Well, I hope that I hope that's fine. Cause I technically used the crane to kill him. But you know what? I wonder something. Before I do anything. Hey, there's a block right here. Alright, hey buddy, hey buddy. Ugh. Oh wait, there's the skill point. I believe that. Operate, yeah, that was it. People said you had to destroy literally every robot. Gotta love when tips are wrong, you know? Like, I mean, like, every book I've read or every website I've checked out, I've always had the wrong tips. I'm not entirely sure why, but here we go. And that robot got blown up as well. Okay, now if we can only get the one for destroying everything, we're set. Oh, I see. We need a different hacking device. I believe that's like a ball. Okay, also... Also that one. It's directly in front of this. So I wonder if we can get that. It's directly in front of it. So for this one, I think... What we're going to need to do is we are going to go need this you know to activate as a platform so come back with me 
don't know why it's going so slow. Perfect. Wait. No, bombs are right here. And remember, bombs only detonate once you drop them. So you have all the time in the world. Yeah, let's see if this works. There we go! We got it open. I don't know why that was so hard for me as a kid. Like, clearly, the floor lines up to exactly where you need it to. The fact that you gotta come back in here multiple times is kind of annoying. Yeah, there's the other bolt. Oh, this one might actually be the one where you miss the breakables, because there's clearly lights in here that you have to break, and yeah, we're not you're not gonna get them if you don't come in here. Like, I'm assuming now that it's broken open, you can come back in here any time. It doesn't, like, you know, reset or anything stupid like that. At least I'm hoping. Do these? All they do count is just giant TNT blocks. Having Clank would be so awesome, because then we could literally just do, like, the long jump or the glide jump across to everywhere, but no, we don't have them, so... Sadly, he will not help us today. Okay, and with that, drop. Boom. I believe this is the last crane segment, too. We're pretty much done with the plan. We just need to get to the one spot, but I think we need to go back that one way and then use the swing shot and stuff that we have now. Also, you can't jump in there unless you have the cl uh, have clank in Oh, man. I did not mean to do that. I meant to actually go back and look. Hope I didn't miss any. I don't think the red room has anything. No. It looks like where you gotta actually do stuff, there's not much to destroy. Oh, we just got some nanotech. That is... Whoa! My gun also just went weird and didn't fire there. You guys could hear it. Oh, well, that... That went bad. Okay, anything destroyable in here? I don't think any of that is. Oh, those are just fans and whatnot. Yeah, let's go back up here. Let's go, and you only have seven ammo. Well. You now literally have, like, no ammo whatsoever. Well, apparently Clank? that's not just trouble. Okay, Clank, don't move. I I'm coming down. Whoa! Ooh, son of a quark! All right, buddy. Let's get you up and running again. I like that son of a quark. Anyways, let's do this again. Now this one is definitely slower paced. Like, you think this one would be a lot harder because it's like literally to free Clank. Final digit of pi is... Clank? Clank, can you hear me? Ratchet? Where are we? Hmm. I must have dozed off. Don't sweat it. Let's just find a way out of here. I believe that air duct may offer our only way out. Well, uh, yeah. So anyways, in the next episode, we'll be doing the Clank mission. See you guys next time.